notice on the drone that the feet are down below where the camera is, and as it starts to fly up, you'll actually see it transform and drop the camera below. Here we go. We're there. You're already yeah. MCA? MCA, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You should see MCA right there. It gets sniped in the way of playing. Are there kids playing basketball out there? Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> see if you can slam dunk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got a high, de a high death Isn't signal. That so it's going to zoom over us here in just a second. Here it comes. Look how high it is. Look at it. So this one actually has two controllers with it, and we have the other controller inside. And so the students can take control of the actual camera and look 360 degrees around. So one can pilot it while the other one concentrates on the video. And this one also will eventually be able to use three maps so you can fly it over the campus, kind of like a lawnmower. And you have a complete 3D map, almost like a model of the entire landscape. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. And, and just an just a item of clarity, uh, we actually bought this before the benchmarking trip. Uh, Harry Willenhan is the, uh, our instructor for our uh, graphic design video uh, production program. And we were able to buy that with Perkins dollars. I think it cost us uh, uh, just right at $4,000. But he's doing it all. He's doing He's using this technology and video production with his students, and they've already done some amazing things. We'll show you a video inside. 